So, let us discuss the solution for the question number 78 in mechanical engineering from set A. So, the question number 78 is consider the following statements, which of the above statements are correct. So, he has given three statements and asking us to identify which statements are correct for this question. So, this question reading is as follows, artifacts to prevent harmful effects resulting from vibrations of an unbalanced mi machine fixed on its foundation include. So, basically this is a vibration due to unbalanced force. So, when we go with unbalanced forces, it may be due to rotating unbalances or it may be due to reciprocating unbalances. So, it may be there are two types, one may be the rotating unbalance where the mass is deviated from its axis of rotation and the other one will be reciprocating unbalances. But nevertheless, when any one of them if you try to consider, so the mass or the machinery which is equipped with some kind of unbalance provided here. So, when it is having an unbalance, means basically its mass of center is deviated from axis of rotation. Let me say that the rotating mass is m. If it is deviated from its radius r, the deviation is radius r. So, then it will be subjected to a centrifugal force, it is m r omega square, where omega is the speed of the, the machinery. So, when it is subjected to some deviation from its axis of rotation, it will be subjected to an unbalanced force of m r omega square and which is the main reason for the vibrations in the system. And if you want to reduce these vibrations, so normally this will be mounted on a foundation, but foundation very often will be taken as an equivalent of maybe certain springs and as well as certain combination of the dampers. So, when you consider this to be a combination of this and this, so now let us try to see what exactly the statements refers to this as far as the, the problem is concerned. Now, the first problem says that, first question or the first statement says that mounting of machine on springs thereby minimizing the transmission of forces. That means, if it is mounted onto the springs which is a foundation may be equivalent as springs. So, it minimizes the the forces onto the, the base. So, obviously, if you go by this particular one, so the force which is coming onto the, the one is given as A that is dynamic amplitude is equal to m into r by total mass into the q square divided by 1 minus q square if there is no damping is assumed to be 0. But Q stands to be as omega by omega n. So, if you go by this, if you are using this, omega n stand for, it is the stiffness of the, the spring, K by m. So, as the stiffness is increasing, so or if you put it on a, a, a spring, so from a rigid foundation to if you put it on a spring, the stiffness reduces. When the stiffness reduces, the Q value or as stiffness reduces, omega n reduces, when omega n reduces, the q value increases. Once the q value increases, it becomes into a stable zone and obviously, the first statement of mounting the machine on springs, thereby minimizing the transmission of forces is a correct statement. So, the first statement happens to be the, the correct here. And the second statement is using vibration isolating materials to prevent or reduce the transmission of forces. This is as itself the statement itself is saying that they are using or isolating the ones. Once you isolate it, obviously the force transmitted will be reduces. Now, the next one is third one moving the foundation. So, as to have only one degree of found freedom towards reducing the transmission of forces. So, what is actually moving the foundation only in one direction means. So, constraining this particular object to move only in one direction by some kind of providing the guide ways. When you provide the guide ways in this particular one, now it can move only in one direction. So, when it is moving in one direction, one component is automatically taken by the supports. Only this component, the y component will be 
coming on to this particular one. So, because the foundation is or the, the guideways are going to take some load, so the third statement is also happens to be correct here and which gives you the all answers are correct. So, this is the option, the option for this particular one is it is answer D is the, the right option for this particular one.